All right, so my buddy Steve and I are playing China Beach. It's a field, SE Village. It's in beginner class right now, control grade of fire. They really botched the lunches there for the intermediate groups. Yep, there were right. a bunch of us that had started our lunch, and then they called around, and nobody had time to gear up and get ready for it, so we dropped down the beginners. In our last game of the day, you can see a little zoom cam action there. The guy's pretty far away, but I figured lob some paint him anyway. You never know. Might get lucky. No. So Steve and I are talking about which way we want to go. We're in a good spot here. I'm trying to figure out, oh, okay, we've got a lot of guys that hit right side. We could see them come in. We want to see uh, which side they're hitting heavy. We knew they were coming right pretty hard. I'm trying to figure out which is a good uh, good station to post up over here. Not a lot of good cover on this field. Yeah, get out! And got a lucky shot on the guy in the plywood. One ball, them right in the back of the neck. You can just feel the pain right there. Pop them in the back, dude. Good. Well, that's the last Checking thing. the batteries on the zoom camera. <laughs> like two bars left, which is uh, not a lot of life left. And uh, I think it lasted to the end of the game, which was actually good. You can see me hit a few more people later, but uh, it died before I got off the field. So we see a guy up there, our teammate, kind of waiting to watch, see what's going on. He's getting shot at pretty heavily. Yeah, I thought I saw somebody in the grass out there, so I'm shooting at ghosts right now. In the tree? I think so. I saw it moving. You never know who's going to get brave and try to actually crawl through the grass. It does happen. Dude, this fucking lid keeps popping open. Alex is in the fucking fort over there. You see one of our uh, buddies over there hiding one, the one of the forts. Right <laughs> I hear Can't someone. Hear Alex. We'd split up the teams because last time a bunch of us regulars were all on the same team on the beginners and it wasn't even fun. It's just uh, two minute games. No fun for anybody. We weren't even you trying, just walking around. And Are you guys out or in? Wasn't good, okay, but good. right there you could see our teammates. They yeah. ran back. They folded like wet blanket on the right side. You know, they left us kind of hanging there. Wasn't a lot of fun. So Steve and I tried to hold out against a group of maybe six or seven guys. We don't know how many yet. I found a nice spot, a little ditch with a bunch of weeds covering it. Steve's going to pretend he's a tree for a little bit. So I kneel down where they can't see me. I don't know if that was a bounce or a rock in the shoe or what, I can't remember. We're going to play the waiting game. I was wearing a green shirt and uh, black mask and stay dark down, clothes, down, so they down. really can't see me. I'm going to wait for the advance over there and just kind of pick them off as they come in. So right now I started shooting at nothing. It was a tree stump, but I, sometimes guys use it for cover, so I wanted to lobby a few balls over there just in case. And I think they see Steve and they're shooting at him. Oh, yeah, back up. I'm just going to stay low for a little bit. Try not to give away my position. This is about as close to wood Woods Ball as you get in uh, SC Village or you know, most of Southern California. As you... So I see a few guys through the thick grass clumps and I'm going to go shoot at them. Kind of see how many guys are back there, if I can get them move around a bit. And I can see there's about three or four guys. There's a few more to the right, too, because I can hear them talking. They weren't very quiet. And one of them decides to make a charge here, so I'm going to gun him down. One of the bad things with the grass is you don't know if it's going to pop in the grass or actually hit the guy before it breaks. Or if the guy's going to call himself outright. So they still don't know where I'm at. There's a few balls coming over here and there. I'm going to stay low. Wait for him to come. And at this point, I'm the only guy left over here. Everyone else got shot out, and I see someone else coming, so I'm going to get him. Nailed him. Nailed him. Get out! Get out! 
So of course he starts screaming like a dumbass. I see another guy coming in. Shoot him. This guy won't shut up. You see my hand, bro? There's someone behind you! The bad thing you. is I'm yelling back at him. It gives There's away my position so they kind of know where I'm at now. He's telling me to there relax and everything you. after he starts yelling at me first. The guy just went stupid. I don't know why people get like that. So at this point, they're about to call you need out. To relax. They're counting down. You can hear them. Why is he yelling then? I'll shut up so you can hear him. And then they're all just shooting, shooting. So I'm laying low, laying low until I can see him move and I pop up and try to shoot this guy. And I think I did get him in the hand. And I got hit. What are you going to do? Yeah. So this is round one. Gonna make a mad sprint, see if we can't beat him in this plywood, which holds the center of the field pretty well. Shoot it with my buddy Alex. Pop him once more in the ass for a good measure. Make sure he's out. I don't know if the first two hits I got on him broke or not, or even hit him. <clears throat> I see some people in the weeds. Fling some paint at him. Maybe I might get lucky and no break. But these guys broke heavy left side in middle. And I think there were probably a good uh, 10 people on the left side. So I knew it was only a matter of time before they'd start marching up over there. We have one guy bust up on the right side in that dirt mound over there. See a few people moving right on our team to go flank. Somebody join me. And so we're just kind of playing the waiting game. It's uh, teams weren't necessarily stacked the, the best and with the initial sprint and so many people right heavy it was only a matter of time before they swept our left side. So we're taking up defensive position rather than going on the offense. Try to pick them off as they come in. Those guys left side trying to call out. One of our guys moved up the right side to flank a little bit, see what happens. I think he got shot out, I don't think he quite made it there. Okay, still at the dirt mound. The weight from the poke his head up and then he just wasn't poking back up. He was staying low. Just trying to wait for him. <laughs> so he's going to run up. I'm going to lay down some cover fire. Definitely doesn't make it over there. There's somebody up in the center, and I'm shooting them out on the way in. I, I don't have a good shot on them. But I think I saw somebody in the grass. You gotta watch the windows though. Like you guys saw in the second round, you can easily get shot out from the windows if you're not careful. Don't watch your back. Try to make sure this guy on the right side doesn't get me. He had a fairly good angle. And that's where that guy got shot out at. I don't think he <laughs> quite made it there. Yeah, not quite. I didn't get near hitting him. Watch a paint break on this guy. Gotta love that zoom camera. Right off the back of the head.
I'm still watching that guy on the right. I know he's there. Waiting. Kind of playing whack-a-mole. Wait for him to pop up. Shoot him down. So I'm pretty sure one round at least bounced off of him. You'll see this round right now. Right where he's at. Don't know if it broke. Ref checked him. Said he was good. So it must have bounced. But uh, the spot on him. At least the refs are nice to actually do check. I don't quite have a shot on that guy. Lob a few balls at him, hopefully you get lucky, but... Tree branches in the way. Gravity, not your best friend. And I got shot in the hand. Game over. But I'll reload before I walk out, why not? The guy's still shooting at me. 